RV shaving today on Barber Dave Shaves and Such. Hey everybody, happy uh, Monday, I think. Uh, we've been camping for a few days. Uh, we're coming to you live, well, live on tape, however you want to put it, uh, from Fool Hollow Lake in uh, east central Arizona up in the White Mountains. Um, I'm shaving in the uh, coach uh, bathroom today because it's a little bit windy outside and me like a moron forgot my tripod. So I'm going to try to figure out some type of setup to uh, shave outside tomorrow, but we'll check. The weather's been absolutely beautiful here. Um, if you check on my community, uh, my community page here on the channel, uh, we were graced with something that I've been trying to get images of, uh, for at least two weeks now. Um, but getting up at three 30 in the morning to see it wasn't something I wanted to do. Plus we have mountains all around us, so it was really hard to get, but, uh, it switched and it's now coming up in the evening sky. Um, so at the end of the video, I'll also post a picture of uh, the 80,000 year comet um, that is uh, gracing us right now. Pretty neat. So anyhow, uh, shaving in a coach is interesting because it's much, much smaller. Uh, the sinks are smaller, but uh, you can still do it. And plus, the neat thing is you can rest up against stuff. Yeah, yesterday we... I did not do a shave because the, the restrooms... Here at the camp, or at Fool Hollow Lake, I should say, are uh, quite frankly like a hotel. Um, so we don't we don't use our restroom uh, because it just saves having to dump stuff at the end. Um, so we mostly use. the camp showers and restroom because it's like a hotel. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to walk over there at three o'clock in the morning, but uh, for the most part, we can save quite a bit of work by doing it that way. So anyhow, it's really beautiful up here. Oh, like I said, I'll post some, some pictures at the end of the video. Those of you that are members of the TSC, you can already uh, see some of the stuff. Basically, if you saw my community blog yesterday, um, same same setup for the most part, except for the except for the razor. And I apologize for the angle of the camera. The nicest part I've seen is just at night. You can't see it off camera, but in our, our master bedroom, there's uh, two nightstands and windows right above those nightstands. And we get a nice bit of cross flow and wind. And all you hear is the pines uh, and the breeze. It's really neat. So 
So other than that, we're just relaxing, doing a little bit of fishing, taking the dogs on walks, all kind of stuff like that. Get out of the heat in Southern Arizona. And it's been in the uh, low 80s, to, uh, high 70s to low 80s, um, and then 40s at night. So it's really been perfect. Although last night was kind of funny. But um, probably around three o'clock in the morning. Felt some banging up against the coach. And um, turned out it was the wind and it was the awning supports rattling a little bit. But it was so funny because both of us thought that we were going to open up the the uh, shades and see a Sasquatch face or a bear. Um, in the window, which would have made for fun for today, huh? But no such luck. And besides, if there would have been anything around the coach, the dogs would have alerted us. We've, we've noticed since we've been up here that if anything or anybody that seems a little sketchy Uh, the dogs are right on it. It's funny, we've got a, uh, from when we're sitting out outside, we've got a, uh, a little tie-out for the dogs. It's about, oh, 60 feet, and then on top of their 10-foot leashes. So they got about 80 feet of running room around them to go out in the woods and play or hang out in front of the coach. But right in front of the coach, there's a road, and uh, people walk their dogs and so forth. And it's so funny because some people will walk by and they don't say much. They might whine a little bit because they want to see the dog. You know, they want to see the puppy. But every once in a while, somebody will be walking by with a dog and both of their hackles will go up and they start growling. And I think it's all in the... All in the way people interact. Because we, we, you know, we say hi to everybody and some people just grunt and keep walking. And those are the people that usually uh, Conan and like are uh, wanting to get a piece of, but yet, but yet anybody who says hi and comes over and stuff like that, they're all waggy tailed and everything else. So that goes to show you, it proves that dogs really kind of do know what's going on. Great shave today. We'll go over everything in just a second, even though you pretty much know it. Even though we're hooked up to city water here, I try to, try to get in the habit of not using too much water because uh, but for shaving and that's going to be an issue when we uh, go dry camping uh, because you can tell that you, you actually use because I don't have a stopper for this sink so unfortunately I, uh, I have to turn it on turn it off turn it on turn it off but most of the time I won't be shaving probably in the coach when we're out camping, I'll probably be doing the shaves outside when I remember my tripod. Okay, what did we use today? Well, you already saw it, but uh, for the shave do we, today, we use the Essence by Tetalus. And this has got the Kai Captain MG Pro Touch guarded blade, uh, similar to a uh, Feather Pro Guard, except the guards are a little bit closer together. And I got to tell you, out of smoothness and out of quality of shave, 
I hate to say it, but the Pro Guards may get unseated by these. Um, just absolutely fantastic. And they feel good right from the beginning as opposed to the Feather Pro Guards, which take a little while to uh, break in. Yes, I'm bowl lathering this week. The Turkish Lather Bowl and the Gray Dog Keyhole uh, Brush. Uh, for the soap today and for entirely this week, Brute by Mama Bears. And then for the Witch Hazel, we are using CBL Litzia Kubeba, which is just a wonderful uh, artisan witch hazel. Very lemony. Just beautiful. Now, a lot of people, I'm sure, are saying, Dave, you're camping, you're RVing. What the heck are you doing shaving? And it's like, I'm not going to get into the hobo-esque. You know, you're shaving, you're camping. You should still maintain a, a decorum of uh, gentlemanliness. At least that's what I'm telling you. So. But one thing I noticed right out of the gate is <laughs> a lot less room than in your standard uh, your standard restroom. But I still be, I was able to bring in everything. Okay, for the aftershave, Brute. If I was to pick one favorite of all time, it's just, it's perfect. It's just a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. And yes, believe it or not, even up to the mountains, I brought some talc. And the talc we're using is Penhaligon's English Fern. A little bit breezier today than it was yesterday. I don't know if you can hear that, but some breeziness going on. Okay, and for our cologne today is uh, Brute Classic Splash On. Uh, it's a little bit stronger than the... Um, in the aftershave, I'd say it's a little bit stronger than a cologne as well. And uh, that's it. So here, here's our shave today, guys. I promised I'd do one, and I apologize for not doing one yesterday. But anyhow, if I can, I'm going to try to do an outside shave tomorrow uh, for video. Can't guarantee it. We'll see how everything goes. So thank you once again for joining us. And at the tail end of this, after the uh, after this, uh, take a look. I'll post some pictures of the campsite and what we've been doing. Hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And enjoy the rest of your week. And we hope to see you again on Tuesday. Take care. Mm -hmm.